Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Topaz Labs updated Photo AI. Included in this update is a feature that really bugs me. In today's video, I'm going to show you what that feature is and how you could work around the issue if it bugs you as well. Now, more specifically, this feature has to do with how Photo AI handles raw files. So it doesn't apply to any other file type and it doesn't matter whether or not you're using Photo AI as a standalone app or as a plugin, the issue occurs in both instances. Now, in today's video, I am going to be using Photo AI as a standalone app, and I am working in version 2.4.2. Without further ado, let's open a RAW file up into Photo AI. I'm going to open up a Fuji RAW file. And those of you familiar with Photo AI, when you open an image up into it, it's in what's called autopilot mode, where it will examine the image and determine what is it needed to be done to the image. So right now it's analyzing, it's removing noise, and you can see on the right-hand panel, not only is it going to remove noise, it's determined that this image needs to be sharpened as well. All fine and good. You'll notice that the model noise reduction it used is raw denoise. This is the issue I have with this latest version of Photo AI is that in the past, raw denoise was one of the options you had, but you could also choose a different model. Now, if I go over here, you'll notice that if I click on it, the only model is raw denoise. And it says raw denoise is always applied during raw conversion for superior image quality. You'll also notice, like if I hover over sharpen, I could delete it. So if I don't want to sharpen this image, I could delete it. You can't delete raw denoise. It's going to be applied automatically to every raw file you open up in Photo AI, and you can't delete it. Now, if you look at the specific image, uh, there's still quite a bit of noise up in here in the cat's forehead. And if you look at these bright areas where they transition to black, you can see there's a lot of noise still there. There's a lot of noise over in here still, a lot of noise up in here. So it really didn't do a good job with the autopilot setting. So you may be thinking, well, just, you know, increase the strength. So if I go to the AA model, you'll see there's two sliders, strength and minor de blur. Minor de blur isn't applicable. We're applying sharpening to the image uh, with a separate uh, step. So we don't have to worry about minor de blur. And that's not going to get rid of noise anyway. But strength might. So let's just max out strength and let it now re-render. You'll see at the bottom there's a progress bar. Let it do its thing. Then we'll take a look at it. And you'll notice it actually kind of made it worse. Uh, there's still quite a bit of noise here. There's still like a lot of noise here. There's still noise over here. And there's still noise up here. So even if I max out raw denoise, it didn't do a good enough job. Now, as I mentioned in the past, this wasn't an issue. If raw denoise wasn't the best AI model, you could just pick a different AI model. And often a different AI model worked better than raw denoise, even on a raw file. Well, what you can do to work around this issue is uh, if raw denoise isn't doing a good enough job, just take both sliders all the way down. The lowest they'll go is one. So take both strength and minor to blur down to one. Then go up to add enhancement and add remove noise. And you'll notice now we have these three other models, normal, strong, and extreme. And in autopilot mode, it's determined that this image needs normal with a strength at 29. And of course, minor de blur is gonna be at one and original detail will be at zero. We're adding a sharpening on a different step. So those would be um, down to their minimum number. And you could look at this and just right out of the box, you could see that there's just tiny bit of noise there. Uh, looks like the noise is pretty much gone there. Maybe a little bit there. Pretty, It's gone over here, I think. And tiny bit up in there. But it's much better than raw denoise was. And I have other models to choose from. Or I could come in and just take strength up higher and see if that does it. So that's my workaround. If raw denoise isn't cutting it for you, just take your sliders all the way down to their minimum and then use uh, just remove noise as an add enhancement and you'll notice then it's a much better. Now I'm going to close this down. You may remember that I've done um, videos where I've mentioned that some raw files from some cameras work better in one app, app whereas raw files from a different camera will work better in a different app. 
And maybe you're thinking, well, maybe a Fujifilm RAW file just doesn't work well with Photo AI. So let's just open a different RAW file. I found it doesn't matter is what I'm getting at. So I'm going to open up a Nikon RAW file into this app. And again, it's going to go through this autopilot mode where it's going to determine what's needed. And here's just a photo of our dog. And you'll notice that he was on my lap and I just took a photo of him with a Nikon camera. And it's going to go through the thing. And again, because it's a raw file, it's automatically adding raw denoise to it. And you'll notice that it added sharpening as well. But if you look at it, there's still a ton of noise up here on the dog's head in this blurry part. Where it's focused, it's not too bad. There might be a little bit of a noise there. There's a ton of noise in the background, so it really didn't do a good job. And if I roll this open, you'll notice for a Nikon RAW file, we do have another model. We had RAW Normal and RAW Strong. We didn't have those same options with the Fujifilm RAW file. So this will vary a little bit when you go to different RAW file types. So there's a lot of noise here. Let's go to RAW Strong. And I'm going to cut to the chase and save a little time. I'm going to take strength up to 100. Um, again, we don't have to worry about the other two uh, sliders, I don't think, for this image. But we'll see. Let it do its thing. Let it do oh, it generates our preview. Okay, it is better. It's reduced the noise, but there still is some noise back in here. There's still some noise over in here. There's some noise down in here. So it's not doing a good enough job. Now we could try to remove large grain, even max that out. And again, I'm to save time, I'm maxing the sliders out. Of course, in real life, you probably wouldn't do that. You just bring them up a little bit and see how they're improving. But you can see now it's got, it looks horrible up in here. It's kind of like messed up the image and there's still some noise in here. So again, here's what I would do. I would uh, take the slider, I'd probably go to raw normal because we only have two sliders to worry about. I take strength and minor to blur all the way down. All right. You could let that render if you want, but it's basically going to bring us back to an image that's going to have quite a bit of noise in it like that. Then I'll go to add enhancement. We'll go to remove noise. Now we have normal, strong, and extreme autopilot determined that this image needs strong noise reduction with a strength at 47. So well, let's do its thing and just see even if autopilot is better than what autopilot was with the raw denoise. And I think it is. Uh, we'll close this. Um, there's a tiny bit of noise here. There's a little bit of noise here. Uh, it looks good around his eye. Uh, maybe a tiny bit of noise there, but it's definitely improved and the background is much improved. You could see how that's much better. We still have other adjustments we could do. We could try extreme. We could come in and take just strength up higher like that. I'll just max it out again and let it render. Now, admittedly, I'm probably splitting hairs a little bit here, but if you're really, particularly, I think if you're a wildlife shooter where you really want to preserve as much detail as possible, but you want to remove the noise, um, I think this could be an issue uh, if you just are kind of forced to only use the raw denoise option that you can't delete. Now with everything maxed out, you can see it, it's kind of distorting it up here like the raw denoise did, and it's kind of got some discoloration here. So that probably isn't a great option. You might want to try extreme. Okay, you could see here, and if I close that down, that actually looks a lot better. There's still maybe a tiny bit of noise there, a little bit of discoloration here. Background looks a little better. But I think it's at least something you could work with compared to the raw denoise, which really didn't do a good job at all. So that's the issue I have with uh, this latest update of Photo AI. Um, workaround you could do if it is an issue for you as well. And thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.